China's tech giant Huawei has a large booth in Las Vegas, and it's crowded here. The company famous for its phones and tablets is taking on Apple, introducing its new laptop for just a little over 1,200 US dollars. So at this price, you will have the premium design. You will have the the screen with 2K Touch. You will have the key, the, the, the backlight keyboard. You will have Dolby. You will have fingerprints. They are trying to focus on business here, but it's certainly not easy. Last year, a Huawei executive was arrested in Canada at the behest of the U.S. The arrest came amidst growing tensions between the two countries. While Huawei attends CES, other Chinese companies decided to skip the show altogether. The number of Chinese exhibitors is 20 percent lower than last year. The Chinese vendors we spoke with were open to talk about their products, stressing that they are still very much interested in the U.S. market. However, no one wanted to go on record about the current trade tensions between China and the U.S. and their consequences. The tensions are already slowing down business, especially for startups and smaller companies that don't have the flexibility of larger tech rivals. E-scooter and e-bike maker Jetson, for example, says it is using the show to meet with merchants and talk with competition about moving its supply chain out of China to Vietnam. We will continue to look into new directions and new territories uh, all over the world. Um, where it ends up, it's undetermined at this point, but uh, I believe it's our obligation to explore. A trade war could lead to higher prices and dropping revenues. Some, however, think that President Trump is not all wrong on China. I think that uh, up in China they have been uh, doing a number on us for many years as far as trading products and purchasing products. So, you know, I, I want to see a little bit more fairness in that respect. For the U.S., it's uh, negative in the short term, but, you know, maybe setting things, resetting things so that it moves in the right direction in the long run. CES is about new tech trends and connecting with new partners. This year, however, it's hard to ignore politics in Las Vegas.